hi guys welcome back to my channel today is part two of the new recollections for the year 2020 and 2021 in today's video i'm going to show you the mini horizontal planner a budget planner a goals planner and a memory keepsake planner uh, i love me all these planners <laughs> but we're gonna start with a budget planner i think out of all the planners that we own we need a budget planner and this particular one is undated which means you could just start it whenever you want And as soon as you open it up, it starts focusing you in your plan for the next 18 months. It gives you your finances at a glance and it gives you that nice space for you to, to write down what your goals are. Now, I feel that whenever you write something down, that's just the beginning to get it actually completed. In this page, it's a yearly savings goals. It gives you what the savings goal is, the start and end date, the month and the saved amount again it's a tool to keep you focused in whatever it is that you're trying to achieve from your financial goals in this particular bill payment tracker i like that it has space to write every month and all your bills are in one page my financial planner has a version of this actually every financial planner has a version of it gives you this nice hefty space to just free writing whatever it is that you want for whatever reason I just love that they give you this little dotted column on the side that's just me here are the nice stickers so that you label your pages again it's completely undated and gives you the freedom to start this planner whenever you want and i love that these colors you know i would have chosen to be a little more pastelish because those are that's just my jam but this is fine as well um i've had issues with some of these stickers when i label the planners because the the tabs themselves are okay but i feel that i need to add more glue for them to stay on so that's my recommendation if you want to use these stickers just put more glue before you put them on the tabs the one that goes on the pages are just amazing these emojis i just love them and i love how they have personalized the um, the stickers to match the planner it's have a nice folder I am going to link down um, my other videos from my other financial planners just to give you an idea of how I've set up my other planners in the past this page again I have a version of this particular page in my financial planner right now this one I'm gifting to a person so when I bought it I really I already had someone in mind to give this to I feel she needs direction she needs to be able to write every single thing down to be able to keep focus and do whatever she needs to be to do again this this financial tracker for the next 18 months another tool to keep you focused I like that they just break it down it gives it like a bigger goal and then it breaks it down little by little this is the monthly view a weekly view and it's um, expense tracker I'm not great at keeping my expense tracker on paper but I do have an app on my phone that actually is always with me and I always write it down as I'm spending money writing things down really puts things in perspective ladies because whenever you see that written down you're like oh god where did my money go mm -hmm. now i like this little detail right here with the little monthly flag in the corner how cute every month after this it's the same setup so i'm just gonna speed it up so that you could see the tabs and the nice It has a very nice space for notes and that was the budget planner next one up is the goals planner in this particular planner i have um i've i've had trouble keeping up with a goals planner myself because a lot of things happen a lot of things change last minute and i find myself just having to 
refocus and try to go back to what my focus my initial focus was so I really struggle with this and I I really try to just give me at least per week I give myself two goals and I start small and once I, I complete them I am able to keep going now right here this is a lot for me <laughs> it had all these little subdivisions finance relationships all this stuff this two pages of goals oh my god <laughs> it's a lot like to me i i like i like it very simple you know this is what i'm gonna do and i just get it done right here it's very detailed for someone that needs this much direction and these pages are great me trying to fill this up will give me a headache <laughs> to be honest because then i will feel like if i'm not accomplishing my goals then i feel bad about not meeting my goals but here we have the stickers to make this very very well less painful let's just say all right The folder is very strong and sturdy, just like I like it. We have this nice weekly um, trackers. I guess you put your goals and then you, you check every time you do um, whatever you complete your goal. This is the monthly layout. Again, they give you the stickers so that you could decorate it however you want. The weekly planner again it gives you these pages to keep you focused i um let's see monthly reflections is always good yep it's always great to look back this i will complete I love that. Next one up has to be my favorite. And yes, I'm keeping this planner. This memory keepsakes planner is everything for me right now. It has the pretty pouch and it has this pretty setup. I love how happy these colors are. So cute. It's bigger than the rest. And the stickers are way different than the others. As you can tell, they're just, they're so colorful. I love this planner. I love the stickers and I love like the, the little details. It's very um, into seasons and the colors. And, and it's just, it just makes me happy just flipping this planner. Imagine completing it. Like, I think I'm a scrapbooker at, at heart. I used to scrapbook a whole lot when I was younger. look at oh my god these are perforated by the way you could literally just rip them up glue them somewhere else what as you place or just leave them here if you don't want to rip them apart so pretty now check out this folder oh my god and in here you can put a quote for the year or a nice picture look how pretty it starts in July, that's the only thing. Oh my goodness, look at these graphics. So pretty. 
I love the lines. Can you see how 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 faint they are? They're so pretty. It's it's just it gives you like it just makes me want to just make whatever layout I want. I love the colors that they use. I love that it's in the borders, and it's almost like having your stickers already put on for you. How pretty! And they're not the same. Some some planners when they do have the same design over and over again and you just get tired of looking at it but this here it, look at this ah oh, so pretty oh wow it has it has the the weekly pages and then it has the monthly pages and you know it gives you a chance to look back and if you want to write on there it's fine if you want to put pictures on it it's fine whatever it is it is so pretty for me <sighs> look at this and of course you can always add more stickers as you please because why not look oh my goodness how pretty now look how it matches the seasons you know the colors that they choose or you know very summery, very fallish. Now you see it's already December of 2021. <laughs> Imagine if you fill this up with pictures. I, I, I picture it behind because my oh my god, look how it has. Oh wow, your travel history things that you did in the fall birthdays oh my god they thought of everything in here ah uh, next one up is the mini horizontal planner i'm not a fan of a horizontal layout to be honest but i am a fan of the cuteness that goes on this planner's look it gives you the the details as always but look at these little pretty watercolors how gorgeous is this Ladies, I love it. <laughs> so pretty. Always be kind. Yes. I love it. Important contacts. I don't remember the last time I had a contact <laughs> written paper, but hey, some people use it still. This is uh, looking at. Here we have the calendar for 2020 and 2021, the pretty tabs. I love me the colors. I love the fact that it has this nice, soft pastel theme going on, an important dates, some goals. Now look at these little bullet points. These colors are my jam. I love them. It is dated, so it has all the dates already on there. Again, I'm not a fan of the horizontal layout, but you know, people enjoy that very much. I am a fan of the size, actually. Right now, I'm in my mini happy planner, and I've been there for months, and I am still enjoying it. It fits everywhere. I just throw it in my purse. It fits everywhere. Now, this planner, I like that it has almost the same element as the bigger planner. Pretty nice. And there goes your note section and of course the stickers and I love the softness of it. Oh, super cute and this for right here, oh my god. There you have it guys, these are and the other planners the one that I'm keeping because I love it so much your budget planner your goals planner and your mini horizontal planner I hope you guys have enjoyed these two videos some of these are going to be given away to I'm, I'm returning one but the rest I'm giving to the teachers for school I hope you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video ta-ta